Hi, I'm Rose from California. Today I would like to talk to you about how I moved to Japan on the JET program. For those of you who don't know, the Japan Exchange and Teaching Program, JET program for short, is a Japanese government-run program that brings foreigners to Japan to work at local government offices or schools. The majority of participants are employed as ALTs, or Assistant Language Teachers. I applied at the start of my last year in college in fall of 2012 for the August 2013 term. As I recall, it was a somewhat long and complicated process with lots of paperwork and lots of waiting. In January, I found out I got the interview. At the time, I was living in rural New York State, up near the Canadian border. The closest interview location was in Boston, which was a six-hour drive from where I lived. I decided to go there a day early by car, and I stayed in a hotel. And it was a good thing I went a day early, because on my way there, my car broke down. Just as I entered Boston, my car stopped in the middle of the road, and I had to get out of my car and try to push it. Luckily, a car full of young people stopped to help me push my car to safety. They also helped me to call a mechanic and tow my car. Thanks to the kind citizens of Boston, I was able to make it to my hotel. The next morning, I had my interview, and I walked from my hotel. I can remember it was very, very cold, uh, February in Boston. There was still snow on the ground, and I was wearing a suit <laughs> with a skirt and heels, and I felt really ridiculous because it was so cold outside, and I was not used to wearing formal clothes like that. But I had read online that to make a good impression, uh, especially with Japanese people, um, you should really wear like a black suit and kind of conform to the, the normal interview process. So that's what I did. I remember in the waiting room, I was so nervous for the interview, but I just kept reminding myself to smile in the interview and to just calm down. So I was breathing, doing some deep breathing, the only thing I can really remember clearly about the interview, it was quite a while ago, is that they did test my level of Japanese, probably because I had written in my application that I spoke Japanese. So they gave me some passages in Japanese to read. Um, of course, they were pretty simple. It was like I think it was all hiragana, or maybe it had furigana over the kanji. But reading was not, and still isn't, really my strong suit. And so getting, just getting that uh, test, and they told me to read the passages out loud, and just getting that and looking at it was like, my, inside of my brain, I was like panicking, like total anxiety attack. But I just kept smiling and tried to not show my anxiety on the outside and uh, just powered through it. And I was able to read um, with some difficulty, but I was focusing so hard on saying each character <laughs> that was written down that I, I forgot to really focus on what it was that I was reading. And so after I finished, I was like, oh, okay, I, I did it, whew, I read, uh, I did it. But then um, they started asking me questions about what I read, and I just blanked. I froze. And those few seconds where I was just like, oh my god, <laughs> felt like the longest few seconds of my entire life. Um, but somehow I was able to kind of recall what I had just read, and I was able to answer the questions. Um, not perfectly, but uh, I was able to kind of get through it. And um, apparently they, they were impressed enough because I did get the job. After the interview, I felt sort of this feeling of like regret that I, I hadn't answered everything perfectly and I was worried that maybe um, they thought that I had like stretched the truth on my application about being able to speak Japanese. Um, I felt like I hadn't been able to speak as well as 
I expected myself to be able to. Um, so I felt really uh, kind of frustrated with myself after the interview. I had to wait another month or two before I could get the results to my interview. Um, but luckily, when I got the results, uh, they were good. I was accepted into the JET program. I was so relieved and so happy to get the news um, because it had been my dream to go to Japan since I was in junior high school. And um, yeah, I first found out about the JET program when I was in high school and it had been kind of my plan to get into the JET program for many years. And so feeling that feeling when I got accepted was just unreal. My dream of going to Japan was finally going to come true. After that, there was some more paperwork and about another two months of waiting. In early summer, I received my placement information. I would be going to a small town in Oita Prefecture in Kyushu, which is the southern island of Japan. To be honest, before I got the placement, I didn't know where Oita was. But I was just happy to be able to go to Japan, and honestly, I think I would have been happy no matter what my placement was. As it turned out, I loved Oita. It was a really great place to live, and I have so many wonderful memories of living there. In August, I departed from San Francisco Airport. I came to Tokyo and had an orientation in Tokyo for about three days before heading to my placement in Oita. And that's how I came to Japan on the JIP program. It's been nine years since I came to Japan and I stayed on the JIP program for three years. It was a really valuable time, a valuable experience, and I'm so grateful to the JIP program for bringing me to Japan. If you'd like to know more about how to apply for the JIP program or what the steps are, I will put those links down in the description below. And in my next video, I think I'd like to talk about my experience in Oita on the JET program and all of the things that I really liked about the JET program and maybe some things I didn't like about it. I'd also like to make a video uh, in the near future about life after the JET program and what I did after I finished my three years in the JET program. So stay tuned for more content about my life in Japan and also about my life on the JET program. Please like and subscribe to see more content, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!